Good morning and welcome to the Hard Luck Show. The certified, qualified host, Steve Lucky Luciano. Listen, I'm here with the Indian, Chumahan. Chumahan. That's it. And I'm here with old Blue Eyes. Yeah. Yep. You know what it is. It's the Hard Luck Show. And today, ladies and gentlemen, get up and get off, off your couch. Get up off your ass. Pay attention. Because <laughs> today, we got in Guerrero Fitness in the house. That's my boy yeah, right here. Guerrero. Welcome to the show, oh, yeah, Guerrero. Back, man. Yeah. yeah, my man, dude. Yeah. Dude, you've been busy, bro. Oh, man, it's just getting crazier and crazier, but uh, it I is. love it. I love it because that's just, that's what we need. You know, <clears throat> we, we need that so we could, uh, you know, become more, you know, because <sighs> you, you, you have to feel some kind of discomfort. So you could progress, right? Absolutely. You, you know, you can't kick your feet up and think that you made it because we got a lot of work to do. A lot, bro. A lot. I've been, and I'm watching. I mean, Chumon, have you been watching Guerrero's whole get down? Like his Hell growth yeah. and like his following and like the, the 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 testimonies and the photos of your warriors, right? Oh, we call them your warriors, they, right? They, they earned it. So, <clears> like <throat> I said, I got to give credit where credit is due, and, and they're, they're up on that wall because uh, they they earned it. It's like everything else. Everything in this life is earned, so we got to we gotta put them up there, you know, and let them know. I you watch guys. I watch, I watch his uh, talks, his motivational talks. Hell he yeah. Out the fucking subject. I'm like, man, that's why I start wearing my sunglasses just in honor of Guerrero <laughs> Fitness, man. I'm like, fuck, yeah, this guy's for real. And you know what, man? I mean, I'm watching all the physical transformations, um, which if you were just watching this thing, watching Guerrero Fitness and following him, if you were just looking at that, your mind's going to be blown. I know that it's a much deeper level and a bigger picture than that. And I'm watching these guys... I mean, there's some people that I know that we know through other people, and I'm watching the effects of you guys' program, your whole program, change these guys, not only physically, you guys. It's not only physical. I'm watching these guys show up as men, as fathers, as sons, parents, taking their lives back in control and standing up and showing up as a real man and a leader in their family, man. It's like... I'm watching you do it with your own kids. I'm watching this whole thing and the effect that you're having on so many people around you, man. It's 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 amazing, dude. I've never seen a wave like this really start to ramp up. And I feel like I'm I don't feel like I know that I'm part of this thing, you know. Oh, 100%. It's it's happening, bro. 100% big homie, but the thing about it is that, you know, like I said, you know, like I always say, we got to lead by example or else, you know, I wouldn't be turning heads. You know, you have to be that motherfucker that turns heads, you know, and that, you know, uh, want to uh, speak about it and be about it. You know, and that's where a lot of people, you know, end up fucking yep. just falling short, you know, because they want to say something. They want to give advice. But these youngsters nowadays, they ain't going to listen. They're going to look at you and like, fuck, I ain't trying to be like you, man. You're yep. fucking, what, what do you got for me to fucking even admire, you know? Yeah, bro. So that's the whole key here. You got to make it exciting. You got to make it fucking, you know, them draw them in, you know, with that, you know, that style, that respect, that fucking, uh, just that uh, ch chest pumped and head head high and shit. Not, you know, you know, you don't want to walk, walk around like a liability, head down, fucking uh, sunken yeah, chest. Dude. You know, who's going to want to do that? Kicking the fucking can. Yeah. So what we got to do is just uh, let them know that, hey, you know what? They can be better. They could strive to become better man, better, um, you know, role models is what we need, you know? Yes. More role models. Yeah, I agree. You know, it's, it's interesting that he says that because, you know, his program, it, it is for young people. But it seems like also it's really good for parents. And you just laid out something really amazing, like totally fucking amazing, which is sometimes being a dad. Yeah, you can sound scary. You might be bigger than the kid and all that stuff. But if you look like you don't have any discipline, mm -hmm. why would you expect your children to listen to what you're saying? That's right. It ain't working for you. 
Exactly. And that's the first thing that they're going to uh, point out or not even that. A lot of, you know, a lot of uh, kids might not do it out of respect, but deep down inside, they're like, nah, well, I ain't trying to be like that. I'm trying to be like my uncle. That motherfucker's on fucking. He right, has like right. Jacket. Or I'm trying to be like my, my homie's dad or, you know. What is it that, <laughs> is it that JB Fitness video where he's talking about the dad? Like, are you just, you're, you're, your kid's just tolerating your ass? Oh, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, like, I, I yeah. want to be like, that's my dad. Yeah, that's my fucking yeah, dad. Yeah. You know, like, that. You, you remember what I'm talking about, Juman, right? I yeah. sent it to you. Yeah. That shit, every time I see it, I think of Guerrero, man. Because it's like, <laughs> that is it, man. It, it's true. And I was mm -hmm. and I was that fucking dad at one point in time. Mm -hmm. I was that fucking guy, you know? Coming in all motherfucking hungover, tits out, fucking bad <laughs> attitude. Want to tell my fucking kids what they should do. And they're putting up with me. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And it, it, Tolerating you. Tolerating you. And, it, and the reason it resonates... And the reason it probably resonates with some of you guys listening is because it's you. Because you know it's the yeah. truth, you know? Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and, and the thing about it is that a lot of people, you know, they just want to, uh, you know, they want to use the excuses, you know, where like, okay, you know, I work all day, you know, I'm the breadwinner, you know. See, that's a cycle and that's a habit that we create and, and it keeps it keeps going generations you know through generations because that's what that's what you've seen that your your pops did or your, your you know that that was their lifestyle so yep that's all we know so we're like oh, okay you know this is what i gotta do go work you know bring bring the money uh go home kick back you know have a few beers and pass out do it again you know and where do you end up you know striving for more when do you uh end up telling your kids hey you know what you could be more you know a lot of people do speak about that but why are you going to tell your kids you could be more knowing that you could be more as well so right. you could show them? You, bro, Chumahan, when you broke that shit down, you broke down exactly what Guerrero was talking about, the way you you would break it down and you were like, that the, that a lot of fucking parents just want to do the bare minimum. Like they, they made the money, I brought home the bacon, and now let me have my couch. And my right. four beers in the remote. How, how would you say it, Juman? Yeah, yeah. I don't even remember how I said it, but, but you're right. You're one fucking... Dude, I have relatives to this day. They got an easy boy that's like slick with body grease because they ain't moved from that. And they got in... Listen, and it ain't... They got in at a time when you really could, you know, earn some bread and there's still a 401k in their job and they ain't moving for shit. They ain't rich but they got steady job. And when they come home, it is that. I'm in the fucking easy boy. Don't bother me. I'm gonna fucking get my beer going. Um, you know, I'm at the middle level management. This is my chair. I earned this, leave me alone. Yeah, exactly. So how do you expect your kids to be more when they're not, you know, they're not seeing it in their household? So where are they gonna get that instilling them? You know, where are they gonna see that value from coming from where, you know? So what, they're, so what happens is that they end up you know, veering or, or uh, getting sidetracked by something that's more exciting, which is a lot of times, you know, it's just, you know, bad influence, you know, where it's like, well, okay, sometimes you know, those kids, they want, they want attention. They want to matter to somebody. And if your deadline or your like finish line as a parent is five or 6 PM after work, and then you're like, I'm turning off mm -hmm. your kids young people need to feel like they matter that you care and value what's happening to them in their lives and the only way they know it is you're actually going out of your way to pay attention to them and talk to them love them whatever it is and they'll they'll turn outward they'll turn somewhere else if they ain't getting it at home 100 percent, got to be involved you know you got to be involved that's why you know that helped me a lot you know throughout my uh you know throughout my life, you know, because I didn't have that. So what I did is like, I, I pretty much told myself, well, I'm going to do exactly the opposite, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I didn't have a father figure. Okay. Well, I'm not going to do that to my kids, you know, for once. And, uh, you know, I wanted a, you know, a role model. I wanted a, a dad, like I seen, you know, throughout my, uh, years, I seen all my friends, you know, they had the, their pops They were involved in sports. There were some you know, they were uh, interacting and we didn't have that. You know, my mom was like, you know, work, I'm tired, don't bother me, you know, kick rocks. You know, same thing, I accept that, work, come home, kick rocks. You know, and so we, we were bored. We start creating a lot of fucking bullshit in our head. Yeah. You start, and then, you know, my, my neighbors, 
oh, that was an active fucking pad. So I'm like kicking it out there at, you know, 10 years old, just watching the fucking movement, cars coming back, you know, mm -hmm. fools getting out of prison. So I'm like, oh shit, it's, it sparked something in me, you know? I'm yeah. like, hey, I want to be like, these motherfuckers are badass, you know? Right. Rolling on fucking Regals, boom, slam down. What's, what's cracking? What time is it? You know, what time it is? And uh, so I seen that shit as excitement, like, oh shit, you know, that's, that looks cool, you know? Right. Because I didn't have that attention. I didn't have that, that focus where like, you know, me focusing like on sports, you know, I love sports, but the, the first time I asked my mom, hey, mom, I want, I want to join a uh, uh, football flag, you know, in school. They're like, we don't got money for that. Like, and right. I ain't, who's going to give you a ride? You know, like, right, no, right, we, right, we don't right. do that here. So it's like a shutdown all the time, you know? So you start. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's, that's what happens, you know? So, you know, I told myself, you know, fuck that, you know? So I was involved with my kids at a young age and I was becoming that father that I, I needed and that I wanted. But the only problem that I had is that same thing. I used to fall into, uh, you know, vices, laziness. And, and at a certain point, you start giving yourself too much slack, you know? Yep. That's the problem. Mm. <clears throat> and I didn't fucking, uh, I didn't see that, you know? I didn't see that till I started pretty much uh, letting myself go, uh, being more, uh, you know, angry because I wasn't happy with myself. All that starts yeah. Yeah. with you know you being unhappy because you don't like the way you're looking you don't like the way you feel so you're bringing that energy to your kids to your spouse yep it all starts with you so yep I, and but we don't see it at that time till like i said you know i had to fucking uh check myself hard and and really uh look in the mirror and say hey mother it's you you know you're the one that's slipping you're the one you're, that you're you know you're the one that giving your, you know you're giving yourself too much slack and that's the problem here because Man, you 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 had the family, you had the kids that you wanted, you know, you, you're doing everything right, but then boredom is what fucks you up, you know, when you start, you know, when when you're like, okay, well, what now, you know? Boredom leads to desire, desires leads to vices, and then boom, it's it's pretty much you, you end up fucking backsliding again, you know? And and that's that's what I was kinda like I was like, I caught myself where like, fuck, man, they're seeing all this and, you know, evolve, you know, so they're going to be like, well, fuck, man, am I being a half-ass motherfucker now? You know, like, you got to check yourself because that, you know, my kids are getting older now. They're 16, 17, and, and they're seeing their pops doing almost like the same shit that I said I was not going to do. Come home, you know, relax, eat, fuck, pass out, you know, fucking... <laughs> drink, drink a 40 and that's it. Being lazy, a, a mm -hmm. fucking lazy motherfucker and not doing nothing, you know, like letting myself go. Like, I was just, uh, I, I hit a fucking point that I was pretty much, uh, like, uh, I don't know what it was that I, I, I was just too comfortable. You know, I got too comfortable and, and everything that, Did... I, that I said was fucking pretty much, uh, I was going back on, on what I had said that I was not going to do, you know? Did, let's, let me just ask a real question. Let's just get down to it. In that moment, right, you're noticing it, maybe everybody else is going to, did any of your kids say... What's up, Pop? You talked a big one. Like, did any of them push back on you? And you were like, and it stung? Yes, 100%, <laughs> big homie, 100%. <laughs> hey, you, you, you uh, hey, that was a reality check. And I laughed, like I said, I said it before, we're at a dinner table. And I was pissed, you know, like I said, I was fucking just not happy with myself. I'm letting myself go. I know that's, that's not the way I carry myself. I always have high standards. You know, that's the way I've always been. You know, I've always been laced up to be that one, you know, mm -hmm. walk in a room and, hey, you know, it's somebody there, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I was I was uh, slipping. So, uh, you know, I was pissed. You know, we're out at, at the dinner table. It's summer. You know, kid, I, I come home from work, fucking 15 hours tired, uh, see him laying around and shit. And then, you know, you start picking a fucking... Uh, a fight, you know, because you're frustrated, you're pissed. You're frustrated you know? yeah. with yourself. Yeah, so yeah. I was, yeah. So I, I was like, hey, you, you guys do something around the house. Right. Like, you know, what's going on here? You know? I go, work out. Do you even work out? Right. You know, and my other son, my oldest, he's kind of like put his head down, you know, trying to look the other way. They play sports, you know, but they were letting themselves go too. Mm -hmm. You know, here's, here's the, the catch. So, and I told my young one, yeah, man, look, look at you, man. You're fucking get, getting that fucking uh, spare tire, man. What's up? You're not going to do nothing? You don't want to be like fucking pops on swole? Mm -hmm. And he looked at me, and, and uh, he's kind of like, well, nah, not really. And, and I'm like, well, what? What do you mean? He's like, well, you're kind of chubby. 
And I was like, what the? <laughs> you know, like, it's kind of like everybody stood quiet, you know? Yeah, he straight told me, yeah. like, serious. That my, my youngest one. I kind of don't want to look like yeah, you. No, yeah, no, serious. He called <laughs> me out. Like, straight I was like, it, it kind of like, I laughed, man. Kind of, I didn't, I didn't, I was like, oh, shit. Mm -hmm. That's what, that was that, that fucking time where, like, damn, man, you know what? My wife even said, like, you know, they, they all just looked at me, you know, because they thought I was going to get heated, but... Mm -hmm. I, it was just the uh, the time that I realized that hey man you know you gotta fucking you know you want you wanna you know you gotta lead by example you wanna talk about it or you wanna fucking be a leader or be a role model you better make sure you have that area sewed up that you wanna speak on you know yeah because, brother man that's yeah, a that's real man right, right there, there. That, that is, is dude a real don't man fucking right speak there. on that shit or you'll get your card pulled yeah 100%. so if you don't want your card pulled then handle that shit brother and, and everything comes out of your mouth yeah. And he pulled my yeah, card. Yeah, but, Gu but Guerrero also is man enough to tell us the truth. Right. Yeah, I got checked, and it was real, and I had to fucking do it. And I, that's a real man in my mind. I had to bite my tongue because he wasn't he wasn't lying because I was already feeling that, you know, about myself. <laughs> he just so told he you just the truth. Me, yeah. They hit you right between the ribs. <laughs> yeah, he just called me out in front of, uh, like, my, my, my other kid, my, my, my daughter, and then my, my lady. And, and, yeah, he was, I, I fucking... I couldn't believe it, you know, but it, it was something that, that helped me to this day. And, uh, yeah, it was like, uh, damn, it was a slap on the face because I looked in the mirror and I'm like, yeah, you are fucking chubby fucker. So yeah. you shouldn't be telling, you know, how the fucker am I going to expect them to do it? You know, and, and to top it off, it's like they, they were playing sports, you know. I just I was just pissed and I was just picking at them, you know. Right. And it wasn't something that I should have done, you know. But at the moment, like I said, when you're – when you feel like shit, you're going to treat people like shit. That's just straight up. When you feel good, you're yeah. going to treat people That's good. That's why when people out of nowhere in public come up you with sideways shit or something, you, you, you know, it's true when somebody tells you that has nothing to do with you. It doesn't have anything to do with you. No, it's it's all about them, yeah, bro. 100%. It's, it's what you're projecting. And, and my dad, you know, I came as I got older. I, I, I came out and got clear on some things that my dad had a fucked up life and he was fucked up. And he didn't deal with a lot of shit. And the stuff that he gave to us was a dude that was really, really unhappy and frustrated with himself. Yeah. And that's and that's what you give off. And and I think I think I mimic that in some ways myself without even knowing that. You know, you just kind of like you talked about, you fall right into the lane and if you don't have somebody to wake your ass up or you don't have a wake up call, you'll just go right along carrying the same cycle. Oh, hundred percent. Like they say the you know, like like they always say kids always fail to listen to their parents, but they never fail to emulate them. Mm -hmm. You know, that's mm -hmm. straight up. You know? Mm -hmm. They're gonna do something that you and it's always the the bad thing that you don't want them to do. Yep. The one that gr they gravitate to and that they end up fucking doing you know the same thing the cycle continues you know and that's something that you instill in them and now it's just uh i just gotta check myself on a daily with uh my attitude with my um my anger you know even though uh you know i'm spitting a lot of positive uh and i'm changing people the way they think their mindset and all that but i still have my own issues you of know of course yeah. uh you know like i said i've been married 26 years and it ain't fucking rainbows you know a lot of times i get called out on my own shit uh because uh, i'm I'm spitting a lot of, uh, you know, a, a lot of, you know, um, a lot of things that, you know, if your wife sees it, she hears, me, oh. you know, she's going to be like, well, you ain't being patient. You're talking about patience. I'm yeah. Like, you know, hey, bro. Like, see, man, that's why I like Guerrero. Because Guerrero is up on here keeping this shit motherfucking real. You hear that? Yes, he is. <laughs> And let me tell you something. I go through the same thing, girl. My wife, she watches that shit I say in the morning. She's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What happened to what you're talking about? Yeah. You, know, you, you, don't, you don't up but, upholding it. But I, I kind of wanted to indicate the kind of highlight something, too, that I think it's glossed over in our, in, in our country, especially, which is when you were maybe not acting at your best, you were frustrated, then the somebody that you're generally in charge of and is supposed to respect you at the surface mm -hmm. level checks you and tells you the yeah. truth because you chose to listen yes it demonstrates that you have a very strong ego it means that you can tolerate contradiction and you can tolerate somebody giving you a critique there's a lot of men and women in that same exact situation that would have beat the shit out of that kid and said, so you don't ever talk to me. Oh, like yeah, that. 100%. Oh, 100%. And, and, but, you know, that, that's when, uh, 
you got to realize, you know, ego is made to protect you. You know, the ego, that that's that's something that we have, you know, that, you know, it's there for it's good and bad. Ego is yeah, good and bad, you know. Absolutely. So but a lot of times, you know, our ego is made for us to. Uh, well, I, I don't want to feel stupid. I don't want to be embarrassed or, or you're embarrassing me. So my ego protect me. So it, you're made to uh, retaliate or, or, you know, talk back or, or, you know, defend yourself. You know, mm -hmm. that's the ego in you. But then the, the good ego is understanding uh, that, you know what, you got to just uh, sit back, absorb the situation because that's that's everybody's fault. You know, everybody acts in the moment, in the moment of like, you know, you're being, uh, you know, you're, you're, whatever you want to call it you're being checked or you're being uh uh you're you're being um uh reprimanded or or, or told something that you don't want to hear so you're going to pretty much react you know our reaction sometimes it's just like boom sparks and you end up talking shit back and not really saying like ah well you know what this guy did have you know he makes sense you know he's he's telling uh he's telling the truth so obviously if it if it hurts if it if it hurts you in any way that's because something in there it's true there's something you know? true to it or else yeah. it wouldn't have an effect, effect on, you. on you yeah absolutely so, man I uh, agree. you know what's uh you know what was interesting too about angel cortez kind of mentioned it too and i've said this lately as well i felt like uh and we talked about it with zo and that was like different guys around me that have had some issues uh, maybe they weren't able to tackle a lot of um, their life issues, personalities, psych issues, um, different things. But what they were able to do was they were able to take on a physical, the physical end of it, the physical stuff. And through this process of them beginning to change and understand starting to diet and stay committed and working out right, they began to experience a change physically which in turn started to trigger off hey and i guess i kind of broke it down to zo um correct me if i'm wrong true mom it was like if for a man or a man like myself the first demonstration of control is that I, or that i can change something was my physical mm -hmm. and once i started seeing that i was like damn i have power I, if, right. I, if I can do this here, then that means I can do this here and here and here. And lately, I've been seeing people around me take this physical thing, and it's now started to change them in their lives. And I want to know, like, I mean, because there's people that are like, you want a fucking better marriage? You want a better fucking this? You want a better that? Well, fucking start by going to the gym. You want to start making shit better? Start fucking going to the gym, and it'll change your fucking everything in your life because everything stems from there it bleeds uh it, it bleeds to other areas in life you know where it's uh you start building that in, internal it, it, it's all boils down when you go to the gym you feel good when because you did something you know obviously mm -hmm. you did something that a lot of people don't want to they don't want to do nothing that's something that you have to like fuck go pick up weights like damn you know i go sweat oh fuck go run so when you start doing those <laughs> things is that you know that that rush that you get like oh yeah i fucking i hit the gym i feel good fuck when you walk out of the gym everybody opens the door for everybody you know and they're yeah, friendly I, I, hey I, have I, a good workout you know and everything flips you know so you start building that confidence where like you know you, you you're actually proud of yourself it's about making yourself proud every day by doing shit that sometimes you don't want to do and when you do it you feel proud so that so that starts creating that internal attribute of you just being confident more confident you're being more disciplined and you end up uh, just uh, becoming a better person where that energy that you're carrying people see that they feel that when you walk in the room they're like oh shit you see that person well put together you're like damn man that, that guy's disciplined damn homies put together boom laced up clean he carries himself well you know so people they start like what do you do you know mm -hmm. how do i do that you know so all that starts you know you start creating that uh that internal you know uh where like people end up yeah it starts with fitness you know yeah that's that's the start you know but then they they end up changing where like fuck man i'm a better i'm a better parent now you know yeah. i think better the clarity yeah. that i have you know yeah, it's it's it, it goes to what you're saying, Big Lux, in terms of momentum too, right? You start building that momentum towards a positive direction. It makes it easier, or it facilitates you going to the next level. And I also think, man, when you just 
like yourself a little bit more, yes, it's a little bit easier to invest in yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, when you don't like who you are, it gets easier and easier to fuck your own shit up. Well, but the, when you the start work to, instills the worth, you know, the work right. instills the Absolutely. worth. Absolutely. That's exactly right. Let me ask you this. Cause now I'm curious. <clears throat> so you went through the episode, son said, Hey, and then you said, you looked in the mirror, you had the Rocky moment. You're like, Oh, I got to get to it. And then you <laughs> did. Right. And then you did. Did yep. you see, or was there ever a point at which with your children or your son and you actually listening and then making some changes where you saw it positively go in a direction or what was the, was there ever an acknowledgement that like, Oh, a hundred percent big dog. And uh, it was my older son where he was like, fuck pops, you got a six pack. Like what the fuck? <laughs> like, I want to do that. What's macros? What, how do I eat? How do I get that? Like, that's what pretty much, uh, you know, I didn't have to tell them, you know, they just seen me grind. They seen me grinding day in, day out, eating my meals. I didn't have my wife cook. I made my own meals. Like I tell everybody, when you, when you're seeking a, a fitness journey, when you want to start doing your, uh, you know, uh, your, your, your diet, or you're trying to lose weight or you're trying to build your body. Don't get your lady involved. You know, a lot of times that, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's people's fucking downfall because they, yeah. you know, they end up like, well, What's fuck man, my lady was pissed and she didn't cook for me this uh, week. And I'm like, well, that's your fault, man. Because I told you that, that don't depend on them. You know, this is your journey. They have nothing to do with it. You know, you would want them to join you, but you know, you got to start making your own meals. You know, I didn't Damn bother straight. my wife. I'm like, I cook my own meals. You know, yep. I made it simple. I have videos for them to watch so they could uh, see how they're like, fuck, no disrespect, homie, but you eat pretty simple. And I'm like, exactly, because I don't want no excuses. I ain't no chef and you don't need to be one either. Mm-hmm. And I don't want no excuses. I don't want you guys throwing the, well, I'm going on the fitness journey, guys. So everybody has to eat like me. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Bullshit, and, 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 and men do that, you know, yeah. men try to do that, you know, because. Oh, that- dude, my dad did that. Dude, my dad got put on. He's so fucking obese that the doctor put him on a liquid diet. And you know you're fucking fat when a doctor disregards all nutrition and is like, well, you got to go on a liquid diet. We're not even going to try to give you macros. You're just going to have to do slim fast. And my dad forced me to do it with him for three fucking months. Great. I was like 15. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah, True yeah. story, bro. Fuck. True story. No, a lot of parents are like that. And, you know, the first thing that they're going to, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of kids nowadays, you know, even wives are like, fuck, I ain't the one fucking trying to uh, lose weight. That's your fucking journey. Don't fucking get me involved. You know, and there's <laughs> yeah, problems. Yeah, yeah. Because there's problems. I hear it all the time with my own clients. They're like, fuck, big dog, you know, I'm, I'm getting a... Uh, you know, I'm getting into it with my lady because of what I'm doing. You know, she's, she's telling me that, uh, you know, what am I doing? And I, I'm doing too much. And I'm like, look, it, you are the weird one. You are the odd person. You know, you're doing yeah, something that, that, you know, they're not used to. So, yeah, you are fucking weird. So accept it. Be patient. Understand. Just talk to them. Be positive. You know, because uh, you got to understand that, you know, yeah, you are the weird one. Not them. Mm-hmm. They're they're doing, playing their role just except, right. like society wants them to right, do. Right, right, you know? right. The, you guys, right. Yeah. right. You know, do the bare minimum. Boom, that's it. And you're trying to change that. So of course it's gonna feel like a, it's gonna feel like an attack, even yes. though you're not telling that's them. It. It's gonna feel like an attack by you doing that, by you changing, by your, you know, at the beginning. But the end goal is to flip them. That's what you want them to do, so they could see. So you gotta do it with uh, good attitude. Because if you're going to bitch about it, if you're going to complain about it, if you're going to have, you know, conflict, you know, it's just going to make it worse. So mm-hmm. that's how yeah. you start with mindsets. Mindset training is knowing that, hey, you know what? Fuck, man, I'm being tested again. Let me check myself. It's just it's just me. You know, uh, you know, they're, they know that they feel like if I'm attacking them, even though I'm not telling her to fucking get on a diet like with me, <laughs> you know, but, but it bothers them by you doing yeah, that and eating, your, yeah, boy, you're eating you your chicken and it. rice. Yeah. You're eating your chicken and rice and they're like, fuck man, this motherfucker uh, again. Like I got told, we're like, fuck man, your, your food smells like dog food. Okay. I'm a dog then, you know, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I eat canned chicken and, and rice. That's where I, I was just cutting on, on that. You know, I made it simple, you know, like chicken, Canned chicken, rice, boom, put, throw some green beans. And they're like, damn, I can't believe you eat that. Yeah, I'll get cheap shots. But I'm like, yeah, you know what? Because I'm a fucking robot and I'm just going to fucking damn, my handle sure. business. Yep. She'll be like, I'm not eating for taste. I'm eating for fuel. That's right. Yeah. Man, you said it. 
Yeah. Damn, dude. I can I hang out that. all day with Guerrero, Oh, I bro. love this, man. man. I, I love, I, I'm like this to, throughout the whole week, man. I have so many calls, and I, I get to, uh, you know, I get to hear a lot of people's uh, issues. And, and a lot of it, like I said, you know, it, it's it's mindset. You know, it's mindset because they're just, you know, they're, they're in such a disbelief. They're in such of a, you know, a, a state of mind of like, you know, that they don't think that nothing's possible for them, you know, because they never done nothing, you know. So right, that's just right. that's just it. You never done nothing, so you're never gonna be uh, able to pat yourself in the back. You, you're you're never gonna feel like you know you accomplish anything because your routine, your habit is the same shit. Like you don't break that habit. So what I'm trying to do here is break those habits. We're gonna wake up with the purpose. You're gonna have your you know your meals to fucking uh, eat throughout the day. Hit your workouts and. And yeah, it's gonna be fucking difficult. Yeah, it's not gonna be fucking hard. If it was fucking easy, everybody would be walking on swole status and fucking chops. <laughs> yeah. I fucking listen, man. Yeah. And you fucking <laughs> listeners out there, let me tell you fucking something. Yeah. You fucking listening right now. <laughs> Go fucking tell me about your bad fucking rough fucking life. This guy didn't fucking have it easy. I didn't fucking have it easy. And he did it, Schumann. I mean, I can fucking tell you stories, but some fucking way, we've made it happen. Some fucking way. We don't know each other before that. We didn't grow up together. He came out of his fucking position. Chumagan came out of his, and I came out of mine. And it was fucking dark, and it was hard, and it was scary. And there was lots of bad shit that happened, but I'm here right fucking now. And, and we're not lying, bro. Look at him. Look at what's going on. Nobody's lying. So when you're being told on this show that you have the power and the capability to do anything you want, if you're willing to do the work, that's real talk. I'm not preaching or telling you some shit from somewhere else and trying to sell these people a dream. That's why it's important. That's why I have these guests on this fucking show so that maybe somebody, even one listener, will get inspired and buy into the truth. That's the truth. The truth. Well, it is the truth. And I'll tell you, what you're saying applies to lawyers because today i was at that convention and they had guys up on this stage there's like six of them and these guys collectively this year won over a billion dollars i mean think about a three-week trial three weeks and you turn around and make 248 million smack of fucking ruse right all right and then There's 400 lawyers sitting there listening. How do you get fucking rich? That's what we really want. Yeah, we're going to say the lot, but where's the big money, motherfucker? And the guy got down and he said, I'm going to tell you something right now. You are all intelligent people. You went through the law. You're here at this thing. We're going to tell you how to run your case. We're going to tell you how to do the damages. We're going to do all this stuff. And he said, I go to I go to law schools, right? In my jet, I go to law schools and the law school students say, they're at the peak of their mental game. And they're like, I wanna be like you, what do I need to do? And he goes, I tell them what to do. I say, kiss my ass on one line. Oh, you're a great guy. Tell me in the next line, you're a hard worker. And then say, you wanna go out to lunch or you wanna meet me and I will come and meet you and help you and talk to you. And he said, He's been doing it nine years. Only 10% of the people actually listen. And he said, you guys are all sitting here listening to me right now. And I'm telling you, it's not rocket science. I've just told you what to do. You've got to execute. And guess what? And this is no judgment. I'm not being disrespectful. I'm just telling you, based on statistics, 90% of you are not going to do it, even though you have all the information and all the reasons to do it. Right. 100%. 100%. I have that same issue. And I'm like, this is this program that I have here. It, it's you cannot fail it. You know, it, it's it, you can't fail that fucking program. You just got to fucking put in the work. The problem is the timeline. The problem is that these guys want to be a fucking uh, in a cover of a magazine and fucking 90 days when they've been fucking uh, eating like shit for 10 years. So how the fuck is that? The thing is that you got to earn it. So and I talked to him like that. We're like, Oh man, how how much longer? And I'm like, okay, do you like the way you look? They're like, well, no, not really. I'm like, okay, well, you got to keep on fucking grinding. Oh, but I'm hungry. And I'm like, no, you ain't hungry. You're just used to eating whatever the fuck you want to eat. 
And that's the problem, you know, that now that, you know, we're, we're taking food away, now that you're eating in a structured manner and you're not snacking around all fucking night, and uh, now you feel a little bit of discomfort, which, you you know, you think it's hunger, and it's not hunger. It's just a habit that you uh, created. You know, it's it's just, uh, it, you know, people have, have a misconception of what hunger is. Like, we're in America, you know, you don't know what <sighs> hunger is. You know? Man, you yeah. said it. You had it on your thing. You said people mistake cravings for hunger. Yeah, hundred percent. Dude, we just had a guy on here who 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 Angel Cortez, who became a, a, an army ranger, and he grew up so poor that he was malnourished and he didn't know it. So when you're sitting there saying like, "Oh, you know, I didn't get my Chico sticks or my hot chicken sandwich," I I don't know if I can make it another day. This guy grew up, became special forces, and he didn't know that he wasn't eating enough until he got to the army and they fed him three meals. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, like these guys don't know that their stupid diet that they so-called have, you know, it's something that you know these these kids in the th in third world countries will never see. You know, mm -hmm. so, right? So maybe if you start thinking in that manner, you end up appreciating more, you know, about what you have in your plate, you know, about you know the 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 accomplishment that we're trying to do. And since you just been uh, in cupcake land, all this fucking, you know, <laughs> all this time, you know, everything's hard, you know, everything's yeah, hard for yeah. them, you know, like these men is like, fuck man. Like you cannot fucking stick to a diet for 90 fucking days. Like what the fuck is that? Like uphold your fucking word and run that motherfucker in, mm -hmm. do it for your kids, do it for, you know, add some more value to it. If you're not going to do it for you, fuck, you know, do it for, for your loved one, you know, and see, see what you're all about, you know? That's 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 emotional eating, brother. That that's that's people and guys have the hardest time admitting they're emotional eaters. A lot of guys don't want to admit it because they think it's something womanish or soft or whatever. But if, like you said, if you said I'm gonna do this for 90 days, and then something gets you and you just can't handle it and you got to go back to cupcake land, that's emotional eating. That ain't about nutrition. Oh, yeah, a lot of people won't even, they'll just hide. They won't even uh, call me back or they'll just be yes. like, uh, they just know that they crack, you know, they crack on, they crack under pressure. These A lot of these men want to be called leaders. Uh, they don't want to be called followers, but yet they crack under pressure when they're with their homeboys, you know, on the weekends, boom, they crack under nutrition. What happened? Fuck, I crack. Why? You know, what, what's the deal? You know, oh, well, fuck, they... Uh, see, they had carne asada and they had fucking some beers and then I couldn't refuse it. Um, okay, then you're just following the fucking crowd then because we have a plan mm -hmm. and you're not adhering to the plan. You know you feel like shit. You know you look like shit and you're not fucking doing what needs to be done so you could change that shit. A lot of people need to be talked to in that manner, you know, so they could snap out of that fucking uh, mindset that they have. You know? That motherfucking mm. cupcake land that they're in. I love that cupcake land, man. Dude, the are fuck you? Out of I'm on camera right now, right, Sean? Am I? Yeah, I can see you. Check this out, man. I knew the time was coming that my man Guerrero was gonna. Because this dude's so popular, bro. The guy puts on anything and he makes <laughs> it look fucking good. So they get that Guerrero <laughs> talking about where's your fitness line at, and I'm thinking in the back of my head, this dude ain't sh shot me a fucking <laughs> slingshot yet. I'm nah, waiting. I had to do that personally, baby. I'm, like, I'm not gonna <laughs> yeah. shoot him. I gotta yeah, go deliver it personally. Dog. So look, Chumon, and we got some yeah. for you too. This is the G. I'm gonna open up yours first. Don't worry, All I'll right. put it back in the bag for you. <laughs> But I'm opening up the medium so that we get this thing on. If I bust out a 2X, you might not be able to see it all on camera. <laughs> Look at this, bro. G, Let me see it. G, can you see that? G for Guerrero. I love it. G for Guerrero Fitness, dog. And then we're going to show you the back. G. Hell yeah. That. That's Man, clean that, as fuck. What's it say? What's it say back there? It says, let's run. And then I can't see the side. It. Let's run it. Let's, let's run, run it. it. That's what he always tells me. Let's run it, big homie. Let's run it. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Wear that. That's first. When I wait, get back wait, and hit the gym, more. I'm wearing that. We got I'm more. That. We, this guy brought gifts. This guy's super <laughs> generous. Man, 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 I man, appreciate you guys. Yeah. Are these shorts? Yep, those are Damn, shorts. Damn, so. dog, you got shorts with the G Fitness. Let's run it 100%. You guys see that? That's it. Fuck, man. So let's go. Let's run it. We got it. Look at this, dude. We're winning right now. I'm going to rock these shorts <laughs> tomorrow at yeah. Gold. Let me know. Yeah, let me know if they fit or not. If not, we'll up the size, you know. But I know uh, XL, 
A lot of people, you know, the style right now is like not like, not like it used to be, man. Me, I like my shit big, so sometimes I'm like, hey, where's my two X's at? I'll let you well, know. I'll let you know, but I'll run an XL and shit. The XL tank is yeah, gonna sure, kill yeah, it. tanks is good, but yeah, the shorts, you know, they kind of run small, but uh, yeah, just let me know. You know, I got you guys here. We'll be on it. And man, Sean, thank you Sean, so Sean, much. You're in there, brother. We're we're looking good. Grill Fitness got us all tightened up and taken care of. This is my brother no, right I really here, man. Appreciate it. This is my brother right here, man. This dude 100 keeps me inspired. Um, we shoot back and forth all the time. Um, I'm watching him lead his his sons and his family and an a, a army of warriors, man. He's I just always am grateful, man. When I when we talk, when we and when I hit you up, it's on a serious note usually about something, and you always. Mm -hmm. Get right back at me and and we just trade little comments through the day. Man. Oh, 100 percent. I'm I, always there, you know, open book, and you guys can reach me where you know whenever, and uh, I'm available. I, and I'm I do the same thing with my clients. There, you know, I put myself out there. I'm available 24 seven. Boom. You have any questions? Hit me up. We'll fucking run it. Lace you up on what you got to know, and uh, that's it. I'm here to help uh, for you to uh, help you guys on, on a lot of shit that you know. I know that was holding me back and i know it's going to help you because now i know a lot of shit that you know i was doing wrong that could help a lot of people and that's why we're changing a lot of men now that they, they end up fucking always just that's pay, payment enough for me you know for them to uh show me that this system another one you know got the the results not only physically but mentally spiritually on yes. point yeah you know? man hey listen let them know where to go brother let them know where to go to follow you, your meal plans, your whole shit. Give us everything, Guerrero. Yeah, for uh, IG, is Guerrero underscore fitness. And for my YouTube channel, is uh, Guerrero Fitness Lifestyle. You hear that? Like, you guys got to go follow Guerrero Fitness. You got to follow this man. Tune in, follow him, start checking in. If you need me to link you direct, we'll do that too. But... Get on it, man, and get get get, get on with us, man. This dude's oh, trip just, out on this, lucky. My I, I just signed up a client before I was uh, driving over here. He hit me up, right? Mm -hmm. And then he's like, uh, hey, uh, big dog, I go, where'd you hear from me? He's uh, like, you know what? I was following you a year ago, but I fucking shut my IG because I had to, you know, cool off. A lot of people can't handle IG. It gets too, they get too uh, sure, frustrated. Sure, sure. He said, I left to the army. I came back. I listened to the hard luck show. I fucking found you there. And then I, that's how he called me. Yeah. Like, that's, that's what's up. Fuck yeah. The, I love homeboy, here, the homeboy on Miguel. So he probably hear, uh, hear this. He said he listens to you guys all the time. He's all like, I love it, man. I didn't know that you. you I love it. I, go, I yeah. love it. As a matter of fact, I'm running over there. Miguel. Miguel, what up, Miguel? What up, Miguel? Giving you a shout out. And uh, Andrew, Drew of Drews. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. been sober a long time, dude. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's from he's from the west side with mm -hmm. me. And uh he uh uh Wes Watson, mm -hmm. he got with that whole program, mm -hmm. and then I'm watching him he, change he his life. I know. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you guys, so it's like we this three-way thing going on. So it's like uh big shout out to Drew. Uh got your boy Guerrero right here, man. So Right on, Drew. He's, he's going through it right now, but I go, you got to run that motherfucker in. There is no fucking reverse. We got to keep... Our car does not have reverse. We got to keep pushing forward. That's just it. That's it, man. Guerrero Fitness, man. Thank you, brother, for coming on. My pleasure. And I got to have you, you on. You know, I got to have you on. Uh, you know, I'd like to get you in here once a month, bro. I'm going to make do a this check my in, second right? home. Yeah, we'll Okay, good. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. We're going to get a workout, and we're going to get some live footage. We're going to go film me and this dude getting a workout in together. Yeah, let me know when. I'm going to be yeah. there tomorrow. I got to meet up with uh, another uh, 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 one of my buddies, too, also, since I'm down here in this area. So I'm going to be going uh, uh, places now and just hook up with a lot of people that have been wanting to uh, get a workout in with me. I got to be out there more. And for, Dude, for I'd love people. to bring you by gold, yeah. bro. Oh, we'll, we'll get one it. in over at goals, man. You 100%. know what I'm saying? Yep. All right. Yeah, All right. Chew Mahan, maybe you'll roll with us. And I Sean. would love to be my honor. And Sean. Sure. All yeah. right. All right. Yep. Good enough. Um, all right. Sean, what you got? I got Sean at Movemento.media for all your audio and podcasting needs. And don't forget to hit us up at heartluckshow.com. That's right. <laughs> Hell yeah. And I'm going to hop on that program, dude. I'm going to hit you up. We'll get it, man. All we right. Yeah, we got one. That's what I'm talking about. Here we yeah. go. Hey, Juma, you know what? what's up? We should make an ongoing series. Dude, we should. You're right? absolutely right, dude. Let's right. get Sean on the program, and we're going to track him, and we're going to make oh, a series. Man, yeah, and wow. Guerrero, 
And, and, and listen, you got to pull the covers on old Blue Eyes. If he slips <laughs> and he goes to Cupcake Land, I don't want to. Yeah, we got to hear about it, dude. No, no, no. Come We're going to create this fucking undeniable motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, all right, all right. right. Yeah. You mind what Hell you got, yeah. partner? Uh, Ovana Bowen, LLP, we were braids to court. Let the Tomahawks fly the best legal re representation that money can buy. And let me also say this. Today, Guerrero showed us that the G stands for generosity. So thank yes. you for those shirts, man. Yes. And yep, uh, awesome. www.supermaxhardware.com. Go po pop some uh, some new snapbacks and tanks. Uh, at Cookies SF, we just dropped fall today. Vibes, papers, you know what to do. Big shout out to Estevan Oriol, the Soul Assassins. Big shout out to Burner and the crew. And always listen to the Hard Luck Show Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank yeah. you, Cardinal. Yeah. Much love. Much love We're out of nice. here, dog. Peace, peace.